welcome to my vlog. My name is Adulai Krizel CDPita from STEM 1114 and in this video we're gonna talk about biology. And speaking with biology, today we're gonna talk about diffusion specifically and I'm going to try to illustrate it by having an experiment. And before I start my experiment or my illustration, we're gonna talk about diffusion and what it is what it is about diffusion diffusion is the net movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration this means that when a substance is dropped to a liquid like water the concentration of that substance will slowly spread throughout the water in low concentrations and due to random movements, it is a passive process that requires no energy. Um, it simply means that the particles will diffuse without the help of external force or energy. A great example of diffusion is coffee that is being poured into a water. And when the coffee or the coffee powder is poured into the water the concentration of the coffee will slowly spread out and diffuses into the water just as shown in the picture here so that's basically it that is the rundown on how diffusion works and and with that let's start the experiment I'm using um I'm used <laughs> today I'm using a hot water and a bun bundle of solid solidified um coffee to illustrate diffusion. So do that. I'm gonna put the the solidified um, coffee to the water, and boom! Look at that. The water and the coffee started to dissipate and diffuse into the water. Look at that. It goes from high concentration, high concentration. To low concentration and around around the water. Look at that. And by the way, I'm using hot water, so the coffee can dissipate or diffuse more much easily, because in warm warm water the molecules are in in fact um very very far apart because the water is hot. The, that's a fact. Look at that. Look at that. The coffee, the solidified coffee come from solid to... To... Ah, yeah. Solid to liquid. It becomes in the water. And... I have a coffee. Uh, it's amazing and this is the final product of the experiment as you can see in the picture the coffee that once was in high concentration are now completely spread out across the body of water in low concentration due to diffusion and with that the experiment ended and I have now a coffee that can, can go along well with my donuts. And that's it. 
And to wrap things up, I would like to thank you for watching my video about diffusion. And yeah, thank you for watching. Cheers.